this is Doug with MyStar, and this video is to go with Unit 7.1, Lesson 6. And in the activities for the Uncover Share in that lesson, we're going to use something like this. This is a, uh, a car, and it's got a steel nut and bolt taped to one end of it. Um, it's got a rubber band taped to one end of it. And I can use this one car for all the activities. The other thing we have is one of our uh, magnets. I'm using a neodymium magnet. You could use a domino magnet. I just have this one on a handle because it's kind of hard to hold on to. So we're going to do three different investigations here. The first one is with the rubber band. We are going to hold the rubber band and just pull the car back and then release the car. And I'm going to do that a couple times. Looking at this from the side view, just pulling it back against the rubber band and then release. Now the way I've got this set up, I can just turn the car around and I'm going to start with the magnet and I'm going to do basically the same thing only this time you can see there's nothing between the two objects I'm going to release it Holding it here another time, holding, release. In the third part of the experiment, we're going to lift the car up. So I'm going to just use the rubber band to hold it and first just hold it so it's just on the surface. Slowly lift it up as if it's being lifted by a crane and then letting go. And we'll do that just a couple more times. So we want to think about this in terms of energy, like what we're seeing here. We've looked at the rubber band stretching. We've looked at this magnetic attraction. And we've looked at lifting the object and releasing. Now thinking about this from an energy standpoint, we have some real similarities between all these three things. The rubber band, when it's not stretched at all, nothing happens. But if I input a force, I'm able to store energy in the rubber band, sometimes called as potential energy or stored energy. And when I release, that energy is converted to kinetic energy as the car moves. You see the exact same thing with the magnet, although there's no contact here, right? But I pull the car away 
and it's like there's a rubber band there, only it's a non-contact force. I let go and it slides back, or rolls back into the magnet. So at this point, I have no stored energy. I move this out and there's a non-contact force being applied to that steel bolt. When I release it, that stored energy is changed to kinetic energy. Finally, we're going to look at the lifting up. And this is something we see so often since the day we're born, we don't think about it. But the car, when it's touching the ground, we'll just say there's no distance between it and the ground. When I lift it up, I'm storing energy. Well, there's no rubber band. There's no magnet. You know, what's storing the energy here? Well, in this case, it's the gravitational field of the Earth. Instead of the magnetic field, we got Earth's gravity field. And when I drop it, that energy is released. So for all of these examples, we have similarities when we do the modeling between the rubber band, the magnetic field, and the gravity field. But there are also some differences. And that's what your students are going to explore in Lesson 6.